Uh, you know, it's sort of fun to be someplace where most of the people are as grown up as I guess I am. I'm running because I can. I'm a free person in South Dakota. I've been here all my life. And that freedom is very precious to me. And that freedom has given me great privilege, as many of you know. And now it's time I put that privilege to work. I really enjoy the process in beer, which I understand pretty well. I enjoy equally being able to help constituents because as a senator, people call you and, and you can get an answer from the department secretary when um, others cannot. But I'm also running because I very much appreciate Governor Mike Brown's my very close friend. What do I expect to accomplish? I expect to, uh, this time, change the school aid formula so that Rapid City doesn't continue to indirectly subsidize other communities and at the same time face a shortage in the budget that will sometimes try and uh, prevent programs that we need from continuing. I hope that I can change the method of teaching uh, and governance of the uh, uh, technical institutes in the state because that's what's necessary to provide better jobs, better people to fill jobs for the sorts of companies that I've dealt with that I want to come to South Dakota. Uh, I proposed a bill three years ago, um, which uh, as my good friend, the majority leader said, is not ready for prime time, and I knew it wasn't. Modeling the governments on Nebraska, last time that same bill passed the Senate. I have a program that nearly worked, and it will this next time. If I would have stopped it, it would have happened. I have a program of a way to get DUI drivers, the repeated DUI drivers that are literally killing people on the roads, I consider them murderers, to get them off the highways and not necessarily make you pay uh, for, for putting them in jail. Those are probably my three major projects. Fairness in educational funding, fairness and opportunity for people that need to earn more money uh, than, than they're making now, and uh, get repeated DUIs off the road. And the methods to do that, you'll hear more about because I'll be sending uh, mailings to you, you'll all hear it. The last one, what will make me a good legislator? Uh, probably the same thing that caused you to elect me five times and send me to peer. I lost one election by 122 votes. That's what I think will make me a good legislator and it's experience. Experience in community leadership, business leadership, and legislative leadership. Thank you very much. The way we can increase the total dollars is the system that I've advocated. We presently invest all of the earnings in the educational uh, trust fund that we got sort of by chance because the tobacco companies had to pay it to us and we want to be sure we keep the principal balance. We didn't have the principal balance before that coincidence. Why must we keep the principal balance then? I believe that in terms of increasing dollars, those dollars should be used to be invested, not in corporations in other states, not in the stock market, not in bonds, but in people. Because if we can take one person, just take one person before we make them thousands, if we take one person who now makes $10 an hour, and he can then make $20 an hour if he fills one of the vacancies that are going to be in Black Hills, uh, uh, Black Hills Corporation with the retirement, if he can make $20 an hour, that $10 times $2,000 a year is $20,000 and he works for 30 years, he's going to bring $600,000 in his accumulated earnings and that's better than we're going to get from any out-of-state corporation. And now, as Ellie referred to the formula, I have formed a coalition with other counties because in counties that have a large number of businesses and a large number of residences, they are paying twice to three times to as much as four times the same amount for a piece of property that someone in, uh, in a county with no towns and uh, no businesses.
and you'll get some details on that. You'll be receiving a, a, a letter. Uh, everyone in this room will receive a letter within the next 10 days outlining specifically how that works. Preparing a workforce that can earn more money and then enhancing that workforce's opportunity by bringing opportunity. Now, when I say that, uh, I think specifically that I have worked with the with the governor uh, on the uh, on the mine, which is going to bring jobs here. I've worked with the School of Mines in their uh, program uh, to, to to develop doctorates. Unfortunately, the governor's hands and mine ended up being tied when we fought over the fact that uh, one of these graduate students must earn his own way by having grants. And in many cases, they were successful grants, but if they were interrupted for a, for a short period of time, the student had nothing to eat, and we lost some really good people. I proposed an amendment uh, to the appropriations bill, and that didn't pass last time, but it will now because there's a whole new flavor to the legislature in terms of progressiveness that has occurred the last time. Probably the third thing that I would do is take advantage of the... Uh, Alternate Energy Authority, which uh, as one of the only two engineers in the Senate, and probably one of the only two engineers next time, uh, that, uh, maybe four, but uh, the, the Alternate Energy uh, is a possibility if we can be clever enough in capitalizing the transmission of power from wind. Uh, I brought a gentleman uh, to South Dakota who did invest in a wind plant, the first one on the lower really uh, reservation, and uh, I think that there are opportunities for energy, there are opportunities for better jobs for more educated people, and to get people more educated to be able to do those jobs when we have such a low uh, 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 unemployment rate in Rapid City. As most of you know, I proposed a, a, an increased liquor tax because the major cost that the county is paying for all of this, for all of the left, actually one of the, is, is uh, the cost for law enforcement. Uh, I also had proposed, and I think they're ready to give it to us this time, that the county be reimbursed for the state prisoners, because if a person has shorter than a one-year sentence, they don't go to Sioux Falls. They go to Sioux Falls, the state pays. They go to Pennington County Jail, the county pays. And I think I can get that done this year, because two other counties are already joined with us. But there's a third point. And that is, you get a lot of help when you take care of yourself. And uh, when I was working on these uh, 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 liquor taxes, uh, and, and really made a case for, for, the, for the need of counties, they said, when Pennington County passes a wheel tax, we'll give you your liquor tax. Give us a wheel tax, which is very small, and I think I can get the other money for you, if, if I could appear, and I hope I will. Thank <laughs> you.